Hey. Wow. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I'm waiting on Facebook to go live so we can do this here. Okay. Facebook is live. Instagram is live. <laughs> All right. So, hi guys. I'm Pink. We're doing another live today. Okay. So, for those of you who, I'm trying to remember to add my signature to the beginning. Like, that has probably been one of the most difficult things for me is saying the tag at the beginning. But my name is Brittany Green. <laughs> I am the CEO and founder of Crown Financials, where I coach my students on how to increase their credit score anywhere from 50 to 300 points without having to use a credit repair company. So, now that the tag's out the way, let's talk about four reasons why you aren't seeing results. And I'm about to post this fire before and after picture this fire before and after picture i like it <laughs> of somebody who got results by doing these couple of things understanding what it was that they needed um me giving them the strategy and them taking action on that strategy Number three, them being consistent. They saw the results that you guys are about to see real soon. They saw those results by doing those three things. But here's why you guys may not be seeing results. Number one, the trust factor. Meaning you had, hey, okay, we'll talk. We'll talk, baby love. Um, number one is the trust factor. Maybe you've been with the company before and they scammed you, right? Maybe they scammed you. And now you're, you've basically given up on that, um, on that process. So here's my biggest tidbit for you. Learn how to ask the right questions. Find out what their process is ahead of time before you open your, open your pocketbook. Because I understand that my program is not for everyone. I understand that I may not work with everyone, right? But if you're going to work with a company, Ensure that you ask questions such as, hey, how do you guys dispute? Do you only dispute with the credit bureaus? Do you talk to the collection agencies at all? How many round of letters can I expect? Are you, you know, disputing everything at the same time? Maybe not everything in that same exact letter, but are you, you know, tackling everything in one go around, right? Are you using the debt validation method? These are questions that you want to ask because if you're not seeing results, there's a reason why, right? And that reason why is because we got to, you know, ask the right questions to make sure that that process is the right one for us. Number two is ourselves. We tend to get in our own way, meaning we say we want a certain type of result. However, we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. I wonder why I wasn't meeting my fitness goals. Well, Brittany, look what you're doing. Are you putting in the necessary changes to, you know, eat healthier, drink, uh, drink healthier, exercise? Different, are you changing up those behaviors? Or are you sticking to the same behaviors that are keeping you in the same spot? So when it comes down to your credit repair journey, there are some behaviors that you're going to have to change. Stop looking to these companies for these quick fixes because they give you all these quick fixes, right? And then... Your, your results go down the drain because you pick up the same habits that you had before, right? And a part of those change, those change habits and, and behaviors goes down to uh, point number three, which is lack of education. You got to educate yourself. There is no company that I work with that I have not done research on. There is no company that I've worked with that I haven't studied a little bit of their field because I want to make sure that I'm asking number one the right questions remember that asking the right questions 
Because that's going to, you know, I have some type of education on, okay, oh, I, I can't spin my cards the same way I was, I was using them before? Oh, okay, no problem. I now have that education. Now I can change up my behaviors. The behaviors tend to change a lot quicker when you become educated because it's like, oh, shoot. I can't blame this on not having enough money. I can't blame this on certain, you know, external factors. I, I was pointing every, and pointing at everybody else and not looking at myself. When I was the issue, I realized that I had more money when I had, you know, when I was more cautious about what it was that I was doing. Not, not frugal, because I ain't frugal by the least, right? But I, I began to take a little bit more caution of, oh, I'm spending it like that. Okay, well then let me just spin over here because I want different okay i want different so that's number three education you got to become educated on in on these fields i'm not going into anywhere that like i'm not hiring no tax professionals i'm not hiring no um i'm not hiring no no i don't know i ain't hiring nobody unless i like an accountant anybody anybody that i know like my accountant right now my cpa we read the same books. We read the same books. We study the same things. So I know a little bit about her field, right? She knows a lot about my field because she's in this field as well. But we read a lot of the same content. My, that tax-free wealth book, she reads that. So I know we're on one accord and the, the process flows smoothly. But I educated myself a little bit so I can make sure that my behaviors are in alignment. And then I'm not getting scammed by nobody, which leads me to point number four, having an understanding of what I need, being educated, excuse me, being educated breaks down to your decisions that you make in a sense of, okay, well, I don't need to go with this company because they're not really giving me what, you know, they're not what I need. I'll turn away somebody quickly from my program if I know what I have is not what they need or what they're looking for. Before you get trapped with a company that is just disputing your closed accounts where some of those closed accounts should actually stay. Some of those accounts should actually stay. People don't, every company, everybody don't know, they, but if they can collect your money, they're going to collect your money. So being sure of what you really need. People aren't, Seeing results because they just hire a company. That company started disputing a whole bunch of accounts that they actually that was actually helping their file. Now their score tank. They're not seeing what they want to see, or they see a little movement, but they wonder why is it stagnant? Well, because you need to build credit at the same time. It's not just simply and solely disputing negative items all the time. I be I be preaching this to y'all every single time, but just in case we forgot, right? So. To recap, to make sure that we're on the same page. Number one, maybe it was a company that scammed you in the past. Number two, maybe it was, um, you know, your behaviors that had not changed. Or maybe, you know, that lack of education num for point number three kept you from changing your behaviors because what you thought you were doing, you thought was right. And then lastly, lack of knowledge of what you really need. So get educated. Because the, literally, she went from the client that I'm about to post, the before and after picture I'm about to post, she started at nothing, zero, nothing. She immediately got education. A few months later of her and I working together, she is now at a 652 vantage-wise, and we're still waiting on her FICO score to load. That's a 652-point increase. She came out the gate swinging because she, had, she immediately um, sought out education put the strategy to use, and is doing it consistently, that is how she's seeing results. So when you hear me say 50 to, to 500 points, I mean to 300 points, don't look at me crazy. And in this case, 652 points. Because she did the work. She got educated. She found out exactly what she needed. That's why you aren't seeing results. So now that you know, Go get you a little bit of education. I got plenty of free videos on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and of course now TikTok. Start evaluating your file to see what's red, what's green, what's yellow, what's gray, right? Watch one of my free uh, credit webinars where I talked about the green, red, yellow, and gray that you see on um, that you see on uh, 
Credit Karma, learning how to walk through your reports, getting this education. It's simple. If you watch YouTube, first of all, if you watch YouTube videos, I don't know why you're not in the mass class. Because the way it's set up is just like educational YouTube videos. You get what you need, you go and you prosper. You see what I'm saying? So get educated, figure out what you need, and start asking the right questions before you just get with the company. Okay? All right. Love y'all. We out like chicken scouts. I'll see y'all on the next one.